John Brewer here. This week we're going to talk about communications and space engineers. As the base of Beachhead grows and we need to project ourselves further and further out, having good communications is increasingly important. Even with GPS available, beacons are hugely relevant for tracking ships and each other. In addition, maintaining two-way contact with our ships is critical, as drones make up a larger and larger fraction of our work fleet. With these goals in mind, it's time to go over radio mechanics and space engineers. Now there are three things that directly send and receive signals in space engineers. Antennas, beacons, and spacesuits. Beacons are considerably cheaper than antennas, but only transmit. Antennas cost more, but both send and receive. Antennas don't have a sensitivity. They will receive from any beacon or antenna that can reach it with its transmission. Antennas are in two-way or duplex communication if they are both within each other's transmission radius. Antennas also repeat anything they receive allowing us to make networks of antennas that allow us to pick up beacons and communicate with ships well beyond the normal 50 kilometer limit of a single large antenna. For our survival purposes, this largely means being able to access drones and cameras on far off asteroids. There is a major complication though. Most of our ships are small ships, and the small ship antenna only transmits 5,000 meters. Almost all asteroids in our space are 10,000 meters or more distant from each other. The practical upshot is that we end up with a dead zone between the asteroids, in which we can receive the 50 kilometer beacon off of the drone, but we can't connect to it. In these dead zones, drones can't be controlled, and occupants of the ship can't send messages and GPS coordinates back to the network using the in-game communications, but they can still receive and see the beacons of any ships that are on the network. There are a few ways to cope with this communications issue. First, we can expand the coverage for small ships by placing satellites between bases. Using solar power, these small ships or stations can relay messages and, if spaced closely enough, can ensure duplex communication with small ships moving between bases. This solution is quite expensive, though, and may lead to a very cluttered interface as every single communication satellite appears on your HUD. Alternatively, we can use the dash and drift method of transferring drone ships between asteroids. Here we just accelerate the drone towards an asteroid, turn off the inertial damper, and drop the connection, then reconnect when the drone has gotten into communication range of the base it's traveling to. This method introduces a number of dangers, though, as a miscalculation or misconfiguration of the drone can cause it to miss or fly past the asteroid while the pilot is busy with other matters. Finally, drones can be flown docked to a manned drone carrier when they need to be transferred from one base to another. Keeping how these mechanics work in mind can make an enormous difference when creating or debugging the infrastructure of your faction in Space Engineers. Whether it's just sharing GPS coordinates, flying drones to other asteroids, or chasing down runaway ships, understanding how your communication systems work is critical to not being surprised. Thanks for watching. I'm John Brewer, bringing you better gaming through applied mathematics.